Hi there, I'm Kurt from Studio22 and I'm going to talk you through the ordering process for standard photographic prints. Click directly on the online prints icon. This takes you to an option where you can choose either uh, images that are on your device or images in various cloud or storage formats. In this case, I'm going to choose from my device. It allows me to then select the options. In my case, I'm working from a Mac, so I can go to my photos folder and here I have prepared some sample images. So in this case, I'm going to take a square image and a rectangle. I click on select and then upload. The download time uh, depends on your internet connection speed. In this case, I've chosen one square and one rectangle. So if you would like to place an order for a square print, you click on the image and it gives you your selection of options. On the top right over here, it lets me browse through the various print options. You'll see we've got various fine art, glossy, metallics, etc, etc. I'm going to go back and choose a square print. In this case, I'm just going to choose a standard 4x4 inch or 100 by 100 millimeters, the one that's highlighted in blue. You'll notice over here I have an option to crop in a little bit closer and it stays in the square format as I like to crop. Once I'm done, I clicked done. If I'd like to order a square of the rectangle, I can do the same. I can go to square, click on the image times one, and there it automatically crops to square, and I can arrange exactly how I would like it cropped. In this case, however, I'd like to order a standard rectangle print. So in this case, you're six by four. Click on one, and there again, it immediately puts the crop option around. And if I want to just crop in a little bit, click done. This takes me to the next section where I can preview. It shows the quantity of prints, the sizes of the prints. It shows off the crop for one last time, it gives you a revision and an option to add a white border or not. In this case, I choose no border. I can leave comments and add to cart. And again, it gives you your total thus far. Add to cart. At this point, I can continue shopping and add other sizes on if I haven't uploaded them at the same time or other products. I would now click on proceed to check out. So you have uh, some options here. Uh, we've got ship to a particular address. You can give a shipping address or if it is the same address as you're using for your billing, you enter the address that you need. If you would however like to collect, you'll notice we have a shipping estimation that does appear there. Uh, it's two separate orders in this case. If I click pick up and store, it immediately drops the shipping fee, takes you straight down to the photographic fee only. And here you would enter your information. Click continue. In this case, I'm confirming we do only have one pickup at the moment. So that is the address for Studio 22. This will be emailed to you later. Click on continue. A final summary. We have two payment options. We have credit card and bank transfer or EFT. Uh, the credit card will take you to a payment gateway by Paygate and allows you to pay with your MasterCard or debit card. Um, and then the payment is instantaneous. The EFT option, however, is a manual transaction. You would need to go on your bank account and do a transfer. The banking details and email address for that payment will be sent to you um, at the very next stage. I'm not going to go through to that stage. That's it. Thank you for watching and be sure to ask us if you have any questions.